Hi, I'm Mark Adams. On St. Patrick's Day of 2012, Lehigh upset Duke 75-70 in the NCAA tournament. One son of a former Notre Dame fighting Irishman was watching from his home in Phoenix, Arizona. He had never heard of Lehigh until that day. Now he plays for the Mountain Hawks. Young Tim Kempton had heard all about his dad and his successful career at Notre Dame and the NBA. The elder Tim Kempton averaged over 10 points per game in his senior season for the Irish and shot over 60% and then spent eight seasons in the NBA. Lehigh's Tim Kempton is building his own resume as the Patriot League Player of the Year last season as a sophomore. See, Dad tutored his son. Once Tim found the passion for basketball early in high school, Tim put it this way, I had my own personal trainer right in my own house, Tim said. Quote, it was a great time as I learned how to compete and have fun, end quote. Dad, Tim, and his two brothers played two-on-two, and the last time they played in a one-on-one -on -one matchup with Dad, Dad won the big battle as the former Notre Dame great. He just took him down low and beat him up with his low post jump hook, Tim explained. Last season, Lehigh knocked off Arizona State in three overtimes, 84-81. to As a very proud dad, watched his son go for a double-double in his hometown. After the game, they embraced. Not much was said. It was an I'm proud of you moment from father to son. You see, everybody wants to talk about Tim's famous dad, and for good reason. But Tim tells me the real story is his mom, Suzanne. Quote, she was the one who made it all possible, he said. Quote, somehow she found a way to get four kids everywhere we all needed to go. End quote. Young Tim Kempton is still on the go and going in the right direction. Got to buy some really good parents. Hi, I'm Mark Adams. I have personally been through two minor knee surgeries for torn cartilage. I can remember thinking, I just want to walk normal and then maybe run normal without pain. Miles Taylor of UT Martin started his collegiate career with a bang as he was named the OVC's Freshman of the Year in 2012. Then everything changed. Miles originally tore his left ACL in the regular season finale at Austin P on March 2nd of 2013 of his sophomore season. That injury forced him out of the OVC tournament that year and also caused him to miss the first three games of his junior season in the 2013-14 season. Once again healthy, he led the Skyhawks in scoring at over 14 points per game and rebounding over six rebounds per game and averaged one block per game as a junior. Last season, he started in each of the first seven games before re-injuring the same left ACL. At the time of his injury, he averaged over 11 points per game and was shooting 73% from the floor. He suffered the injury at the end of the first half of a win over Longwood on December 6th of 2014. Taylor never returned for what would have been his senior season. But Taylor was given a hardship ruling by the NCAA, granting him one more year of eligibility. Man, did he work hard to return this season with exhaustive rehab. And during that time, it rekindled his passion to play again, just one more time. Quote, I can't wait to dunk again. Whatever I've got to do to dunk, I'm going to do it, end quote. You see, Taylor, during his recent rehab stint, was very, very motivated. He knows this is his last shot, but this won't be his last dunk. Trust me, 
UT Martin is good because Miles Taylor can dunk on anybody.